Hello guys, welcome to the debug arena. In this video, I am going to talk about one of the most famous and most used React Native component that is Flatlist. Also, I am going to explain you about when you should use Flatlist and what are the things you should keep in mind while using Flatlist. So let's get started. So you can see here, this is a basic React Native project. Currently, it is rendering nothing but just a text, this text. So the first question is why we should use flatlist. Suppose we have a array of data like this and you want to render all these data on your application screen. So how can you do that? First solution is using map. Yes, using map, you can do this easily. Like just map this data and return with a specific layout you want to display and it will do that. So why is that need to use the flatlist? Like if map does the job, then why we should use flatlist? Flatlist comes into the picture when we have a large number of data inside the array. Or we can say that we don't know how much data is there or data might be added in the future. So in that scenario, the flatlist will be more convenient and will be more useful than map. Flatlist is more convenient than the map because it follows the concept of lazy loading. That is it. That is it mostly focuses on the data which is currently on the screen, which makes him performance wise better than the map for the large number of array. Also, it comes with the features like horizontal and uh, refreshing features, which makes him better than the map. So let's see how we can apply Flatlist. So I have this data with place and distance. Now I will create the flat list. And also don't forget to import it. Okay. Always remember that flat list except flat list has two main parameters. That is data in which you have to pass your data, uh, array of data. And the other one is render item, which is a structure to represent your data. Like, let's make one and pass it here. So currently you can see that nothing is happening because we are returning nothing inside this. Also, when we pass this render item, it will receive some props. So let's accept the prop and see it in console that what are the props we are receiving. So when we do that, you can see here that we are receiving the prop and inside that prop there is an index and there is an item and there are many other things. So we are getting index uh, directly. We, do, we don't have to do anything. So now let's make a structure for our data. We don't have to write return when we are using this bracket. When we are using curly, then you have to re uh, write return. Otherwise, it will not return. Okay. Now inside text, I will pass i dot item dot place. You can see it in console that inside item there is place. So when we do that and save, we can see here that our flat list is generated. So in this way, you can easily generate your flatlist. Now our flatlist is generated. Let's see what are the more things we can do. We can make it horizontal just by writing this. So you can see here that now my flatlist is in horizontal. Always remember that horizontal accepts the width. So uh, sometimes it might not work. So just try it by giving width. So let's make it normal. Suppose you want to uh, display a button here at the bottom after the flat list. You can do that by creating a button here only, but that doesn't make it perfectly. Like you can uh, do that inside the flat list only. So let's create that. So flat list accept the list footer component, which will appear after the flat list is over. So I can just write here a list footer and save it. 
and when we go to the bottom you can see here there is a button so uh, it is very useful while you uh, while uh, doing pagination like you want uh, your button after the five items so it is very useful there one more thing sometimes uh, your item will appear your last item of the flat list we appear half only like it happens sometimes so how can we you avoid that just give container style content container style and just give here margin sum some margins margin bottom mostly margin bottom and it will solve that issue currently we we are not facing that issue but uh, sometime there are conditions where your last flat list item will appear half only then you can give this and that order will be, that error will be solved in this way you can use flat list other than the map to render a large item of a array if you found this video helpful then please like share and subscribe thank you